Hey, what's up guys? Today we are starting our Stardew Valley playthrough. Now, if I want to sum up this game, it's something like Harvest Moon. If you haven't played Harvest Moon, well then maybe you could just watch the video and figure out how the game is, but it's technically just a living life of a farmer. But yeah, this first episode is going to be, I think, just making our character maybe an introduction to the world. But yeah, I'm planning this to be a very long series. This game is a lot of fun, so let's get started. So we'll go over here to new. What are we going to name ourselves? So, yeah, I'm just going to go with Aqua. It's the easiest name. Um, now, I've already played this game once a little bit for like maybe a couple hours to kind of, you know, get used to the game a little bit. So before I put it on YouTube, I want to know how the game is like. And this game is a lot of fun. But I'm going to make kind of a copy of my other one because this is what I plan to do it. So the farm name is going to be Arnie. If you guys don't know, it's in every description of every video, but my favorite game of all time is a game called Chrono Cross. In Chrono Cross, the starting village is named Arnie. Um, so yeah. Favorite thing is food. I like food quite a lot. I am a boy. And I like dogs better. <clears throat> Our skin. It's gonna be fairly light. Eye color, let's make that blue. So there we go, blue. Our hair. I think it should be something like... Because <clears throat> I know this is probably the hair that every boy is going to want to use. I think I might go... I might do this. This is the type of... I don't know if that's girl's hair. I think I'm just going to do that. Hair color. And I don't know, should I make this realistic or non-realistic? I'm gonna make it non-realistic. I'm gonna have white hair. And then, what kind of shirt? What? Let's have that kind of shirt. What kind of facial hair are we gonna have here? We're gonna have this facial. Yeah, just glasses. Glasses look cool. And then the shirt. <clears throat> what kind of shirt do we want? Let's make our pants white. And then, oh, the shirt, we can't even pick the color. Alright. So, let's make this white. Is there any other cooler ones? No, okay. So, we'll just go with the glasses. We'll have white everything. And we can pick what kind of farm we have. Now, in my first playthrough, I picked just a standard farm. I think... I think the type of farm that I want is a river, uh, riverland farm. Yeah, so I think this is the kind of farm that I want. Now, this is the thing. I've never had any other farm. I've only had the standard. So, this is going to be a new experience. Maybe that's a good thing. Let's pick it. Let's go ahead and start. So this is the opening scene. And for my special grandson... And I'll read along with these subtitles because... They're not read out loud. I want you to have this sealed envelope. He hands over the envelope. In a very, very... No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. It's a very, very great animation. Now, listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spill it, sp spill it, <laughs> spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. My reading is great. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift of an envelope. I'm sure, it's a great gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. X X years later, I'm guessing he died. Okay, so it's a factory of some sort with cubicles. There's Mario. There's a girl that goes to the gym. Someone's been terminated. That guy really likes licking his lips. He's a cowboy. We got just an average worker. And we got me. Alright. That monitor is pretty big. 
Guess I'm thirsty. Or I'm just tired. I don't know. One of those. So there's my computer. There's my amazing mouse. And here's the, the envelope. Dear Aqua, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Arnie Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Sure, man. Sure. Fade in blue. Loading. And I'm guessing this is the journey to Stardew Valley. In my amazing van. Bus. Yeah, it's a bus. It's not a van. Yeah, so I'm guessing we're on our way to Stardew Valley. Yeah, 0 0.5 miles. I could run that in like five minutes. And there's a birdie. Nice bird. Cutting edge animation. <clears throat> Alright. Hello, you must be Aqua. Hi, Robin. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. Sure. Let's just follow some random lady we just met. Why not? This is Arnie Farm. Alrighty. Whoa. Tear sign. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are. Your new home. Yo! Ah, the new farmer. What up, Lewis? Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Sure, I'm sure it is. I mean, I'm pretty special, so. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic, that's a way to put it. Crusty, might be a little bit more. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty crusty. Rude. Laughing animation. Surprised animation. Don't listen to her, Aqua. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades, which I will. Anyway. Humph. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. Townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box over here. I'll come by during the night and collect it. Well, good luck. Alrighty. It is day one. So yeah, they don't really give any introduction to this game other than, Hey, you're playing the game now. Wake up. So, moving is A S. WASD running is shifting but in my case it's actually uh, crouch walking and to check things it's with this button right over here parsnip seeds and a new journal entry you perceive here's a little something all right <clears throat> so I had to introduce ourselves to all the people and use your hoe to till the soil then use yeah so we got to make gonna plant the seeds the fire on we can like move stuff around and we have a bed all right so yep this game it goes by time so you have your tools up here and then you have your energy bar so you have a certain amount of energy per day you have your money the time of day so yeah it's pretty cool so yeah this game is you just you're a farmer that's what you do 
So let's start doing farmer things, but before we do, so let's look at take a look at our kind of inventory. So our inventory is just all this stuff. So we can put like hats, jewelry, and we have our equipment. Oh, this is kind of an inventory slot, but it's not unlocked yet. We have our skills, our social, so this is everybody in the town, the map, some crafting, our collections of items, so fish, random items, and we have our settings. So what we're gonna do. Everything is actually fine. Let's turn on the music a little bit. Sound a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, the one thing about this game is time is always running. So we should probably just get kind of get started with our day. So I know most people are just going to run into town and kind of start meeting people. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and kind of get the farm started here. So yeah, we're going to clear up a little bit of our farm and then we're going to plant our parsnip seeds. And if we have any energy left, we will go ahead and kind of go meet some people. Now, um, like I said, I have played this game before, so I kind of know the gist of what I'm supposed to do and everything. The only thing that's new to me is a new type of farm. So, I think the layout for the farm is a little bit different. Okay, so I see. In the old farm, this was always kind of, all of this was connected. Now instead we have kind of like, it's separated out a bit. So I'm actually going to go walk and see. Okay, so yeah, everything's kind of... A little bit disconnected that's cool though so yeah, i'm just gonna have to get to the get used to this new farm but overall you don't really mass farm this game um yet like i said in this game you have energy and watering your plants takes a surprising amount of energy so uh yeah right now mass farming isn't a good idea usually in the beginning of the game it's a better idea to farm have a few plants going just try to get the more expen a few of the expensive plants instead of a lot of the cheap ones because energy is kind of valuable. So that's another reason why I kind of played this game beforehand because it kind of... I learned some of the tips and things that I should and shouldn't do in the beginning of this game. So in the last game, I like mass farmed with a lot of parsnip. Instead, this playthrough what we're going to do is we're going to ignore the smaller crops. We're going to get onto the bigger crops that give you more money. Because in general, that's a better idea for this game. I think in the beginning. That's just my assumption on it. But we're going to start our little farm around this area. You can already see our kind of... Our energy is going down a bit. And this, this playthrough is going to be very kind of... Very quick. Very talkative. I know other series I'm kind of generally very quiet. Uh, but in this series I'm going to try my best to kind of talk through everything that I'm doing. And, and time goes very quick. Like we just passed two hours in game time. So I'm generally going to be talking quite a lot. Uh, so this is the box we place things in. This is our mailbox. I think we'll start getting mail the second day. We don't have any right now. But yeah, we're going to plant our parsnip seeds. So planting in this game is very, very easy. You just use your hoe and yeah, you kind of just make holes for where everything's going to go. And then the one thing about this game that I've kind of learned through experience is that the only way plants will grow is if you water them. So as long as you water your things for the next day, they will have grown up a bit. So, let's place the seeds. Is this enough or too less? I think this is this is just enough. Yeah, it's perfect. We got to get our watering can and water them. So now, as long as they're watered every single day, if we go to bed and tomorrow morning, they will be grown just a little bit. And of course, each of them has a certain amount. I think parsnip seeds are about six days to fully grow. And then we can take those plants and either eat them, but I don't recommend that because they're kind of expensive. Or you can place them in the cell box and... You can sell them for money, and then you can buy more plants and continue on. And then later we'll get farms and stuff like that. But yeah, I think let's let's kind of clear this one little area right here, and then we will start talking to people and kind of seeing what's up. So other things in this game, of course, you can go fishing and stuff like that. Fishing is actually one of my favorite parts of the game. It's kind of hard to do, but once you figure it out, it's kind of nice. Let's go to our crafting. Uh, 50 wood. Okay, I'm going to grab some wood then. One of the main things in this game that I try to do very quickly is get a chest. Because this is literally my entire inventory and everything I can hold. So, a chest inside your house gives you a lot of, like, holding power. So, you don't have to hold everything in your inventory. So, I think a chest is, like, the first thing you should get. Also, in this game, your tools do not break. Uh, we have 39. Your tools do not break at all. 
Uh, you have to upgrade your tools to make them better, but they don't break. So you don't have to make new ones, kind of like in Minecraft or any other game. So yeah, we can kind of just keep using it, and then we will we'll upgrade it later on. Okay, so that is 55. So I'm going to save the rest of my energy, because I don't want... If our energy goes too low, we start kind of like crouching around, and that's no fun. So let's get a chest out. And we'll put the chest right here for now. And then inside of it, we can put all this stuff. Okay, cool. So yeah, that's kind of our chest. Now what I do want to figure out is how to move my um, sound graphics. Hmm. Can we move this down? How do I move that thing down? Let's try to figure this out. So we can move it then. Let's put it to high. Okay. Okay, so how do we move this? No, I want to leave that there. Do I have to move it up? There we go. No, I wanted to put that back up on the wall, please. There we go. So I do want to figure out how to move my... Oh, my two bars down. Okay. I guess it's only for inside. My memory doesn't serve me well. Okay. So yeah, we got a good little bit. So yeah, this game has a set a set map with people in it. And of course, we got to meet all the people. So yeah, there's stores. There's the beach. There's a town square. There's many different things you can do. And there's a lot of things you can do, like you can pick flowers. These you can use for eating or anything like that. Doesn't look like we can go in there. That's fine though. So yeah, these flowers you can give to people as like a gift. Um, or you can eat them for energy. I usually use them as a gift. Another thing about this game is, this is, again, this is kind of like a life game. So, uh, once you meet people, you'll figure out if they're like single. And then you'll eventually actually have to get a wife or a husband, depending on what you want. Stuff like that, so it's just kind of a generally life game, but this game really hooked me in because it has a very, like, happy, homey feel to it. And it, overall, it's just a fun game, it really is. I know in the first episode you guys might not see that, but it really is kind of an addictive game. You just, once you start, you just want to keep playing and playing and playing and playing. So we'll keep playing. Let's go, let's go meet some people. Hello, you must be Aqua, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Cool. Oh, aren't you exactly on my... You aren't exactly on my... But that's okay. I am Jody. Okay. Hi, Jody. So we can see now if we go to social. Jody is just this. But if we go to Caroline... Okay, cool. So they're both there. So no, there's like a little thing telling you if they're single or not. Why? Hello and welcome to our little community, dear Evelyn. You can call me Granny if you like. You know, I'm going to call you Evelyn just because in League of Legends, that's who I like to play. Evelyn. So, I'm going to call her just Evelyn. Maru. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Well, that's nice. There's Maru. So, we can just kind of go around meeting people. And the nice thing is I do already kind of know my map. So, that's... That's, that's going to make the gameplay go a little bit smoother because I already know kind of what I'm doing. So, let's go inside some houses. See... Oh... I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something in the evening, stop by a best salon. That's where I work. Okay, cool. That's Emily. Let's see if we can meet any more people. Oh, okay. That's her personal room. Yeah, I'm not good enough friends with her to enter her room yet. I'm guessing this is someone else's room, so I'm not, I won't be able to enter that either. Okay, well, we met Emily. I know there is a couple people living in kind of each house. So let's see who's in this one. I know Jody lives in this one. Where is everybody else? Okay, it seems like no one else is in here. That's fine. Yeah, we'll just... Oh, there's Jody. Can you... Move out of the way. Thank you. Thank you. That's exactly what I needed. I needed her to kind of scoot over. Let me pass by. So 
Yeah, let's see if we can meet anyone else. Let's go down to the fishing. I know a second day we get a quest to go down there. So how was your first night in the old car? It was pretty good. It was all black, so I don't see anything. Ah, uh, the new farmer we've all been expecting. And whose arrival has sparked many a conversation? I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Alright. Hi, Elliot. Hi, Lewis. People are communicating. That's crazy. Let's see if we go over here. Who else we can meet? So, yeah. Usually, each day is like... Hey, like 10 minutes or something. So we still got a little bit. I think we'll go through this day and tomorrow. And then we'll, that's when we'll end off the episode. But then after that, I think it'll be like three or four days per episode maybe. So I'm pretty sure this is the blacksmith. It's locked. So this opens at 9 and when does it close? At 4. So yeah, this place actually closed down. It opened and it closed. This place is still open. Oh there, welcome to Stardew Valley. God, this is embarrassing, but the previous creator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display, but I'm hoping to remedy that, son. Hey, if you find any artifacts and minerals out there, would you let me know? So yeah, we gotta bring him stuff. He's kind of like the museum collector. You bring him stuff, and he collects them. So this is where the museum and the blacksmith are. So we're right above here. Actually, let's keep going up. And go to, like, the Walmart type place. So in this game, out of order, what? We can walk though, right? Yeah. So there's kind of like competing rivalries and stuff. Because over here in the town square, there's Pierre's General Store. And over here is uh, Joja Mart. So Joja Mart's kind of like a big name Walmart kind of brand store. And then Pierre's little store is the small general store. So they have kind of like a rivalry. You'll see that in the upcoming episodes. Let's talk to her. Can we can we talk to you? Can I can I talk? Okay. Apparently she's like too busy, so. Morris, welcome to Joja Mart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris. So I a representative. When you decide you want to become a Joja member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition a joyous experience. Alright, Walmart man. Alright, Walmart man. All sorts of food. So yeah, this is like the name brand store. The one that's automated big. And I think we have enough time to head down maybe to the square. And we are these open or closed? Let's see what's in here. Who is in here? Alex. So hey, if you're the new guy. Huh, cool. I think this is Grandpa. Hmm, it's here now have people meet all these people on there, huh? Name's George, by the way, now buzz off. Hmm, so he's a grumpy old man. I think this is Evelyn, right? Evelyn? Okay. Oh, yeah, she's Evelyn. I mean, we already talked to her, so I won't let us talk to her again. Alright, what up, Alex? What up? So, night time is kind of falling on us. I'm pretty sure this place is actually open. We can go talk to people in here. Let's go all the way. Okay, so we'll go kind of one by one. Shane. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Alright, Shane. Chill out, alright, man? Don't want to get in a fight or anything. Uh, who are you? Hi. Pam. Hey, kid. The name's Pam. What up, Pam? Gus. Oh, right, hello there. I'm Gus. Chef and owner of Stardew Saloon. And that's Emily. We already talked to her. Yo, dude, come here. I need to talk to you. I need to get missions in-game. Clint. Er, hi, I'm Clint. What up, Clint? How's it going? I think it's closing time. I think these are kind of close. Oh, this store still opens. This is the general store. Come back when Pierre's in his shop. Should we actually can't buy anything because he's not here? I just noticed I kind of look like the KFC guy. If I had a white beard, I'd look like the KFC guy. All right, so this is kind of the calendar. We are on the first day. Do we have any like missions? No. Can we go in here? Is this closed? It is closed. Close that nut. Wait, what? Oh, 3 p.m. So this closes quite early, actually. Yeah, we, maybe we could walk up, see if we can find any more flowers. But I think this is pretty much the end of the day. Can I head back to our house? And yeah, we're good. We are good. 
so yeah, we met a lot of people. What time is it? Okay. We met a lot of people. This was kind of an introduction to the game. You know what? I think we should maybe end off the episode here. I think this is a good day to maybe end it off. So all our plants are kind of planted. We can kind of check out our farm maybe. Or we can clear a little bit of more of the farm. And we can kind of end off the episode here. So let's kind of do a little bit more clearing until we get super exhausted. So we kind of don't waste energy. And then we will end off the episode. Like so. And let's clear out a few more things and we have more water up here. Okay, cool. So yeah, we have a lot of water, which is nice. Yeah, my old farm didn't have a lot of water, so I had like one little pond. It was mostly just dirt. But that is really cool. Oh no, it dropped in the water. It's kind of bummy. Okay, our energy's running out here. Alright, so what we're gonna do? Let's stick something in the box. Uh, let's stick wood in there, I guess. And we're gonna have to go to bed. So we can kind of re rearrange our room a little bit. Kind of move stuff around. Can we move our bed? I think the bed's like the one thing we actually can't move around. So let's move that up a bit. Yeah, I think its old place was good. Kind of, can we pick this up? Apparently we can't pick that up. Yeah, I guess we'll just leave everything in its general place. I do want to move a couple things here though. Kind of put that there. We'll put that in front of the TV. Let's take our... Uh, can we move it? I don't want to break that. Our chest will say that. That's fine. Uh, yeah, actually, let's put stuff in the chest. There we go. So we're going to go to bed here. Yes. And that is all of that stuff. Now, here's the thing. is Once I press the OK button... The next day starts and time automatically rolls and I don't want to do that because obviously I don't want to spend time in the day not playing the game. I don't want to sit here and like talk to the webcam like my outros and intros because time is going to flow. So I think every end of the episode we're going to end off on this screen of the specific day that we ended and every beginning of the episode is probably going to be maybe in the starting menu. Um, so yeah, I think that's how it's going to go, but guys, this was the first episode of Stardew Valley. This game is amazing. I actually highly recommend it. It's very chill, very calming. There's nothing bad on the game, so it's very kid-friendly, but it is a lot of fun. So guys, if you guys enjoyed, I had a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys had a lot of fun. If you didn't, make sure to look in a comment as it supports my channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.